the ownership laws vary dramatically across the world. Here's what you need to know in 2025. Australia, Western Australia, South Australia, Northern Territory. Meteorites belong to the state or crown. Other states, <clears throat> finders may keep them, but export requires federal permits. Australia has strict rules to protect scientific material. United States, on private land, belongs to the landowner. On public land, cannot be commercially sold. Casual collecting of small meteorites allowed for personal use. Large or rare meteorites require special permits. Canada, <clears throat> province-specific laws, but generally, meteorites found on private land belong to the landowner. Meteorites found on crown land often require reporting. Significant fines may be subject to provincial heritage laws. Some provinces, like Ontario and Alberta, strongly encourage reporting to museums for scientific preservation. Canada's system blends U.S.-style property rights with cultural heritage protections. United Kingdom. Meteorites belong to the finder unless found on private land. Export allowed but must follow cultural property laws. Museums encourage reporting, but it's not mandatory. Germany. Meteorites generally belong to the finder once recovered. Exception. Private property, co-ownership, or scientifically significant fines. Museum priority. Reporting encouraged, but not legally required. Always check local laws before collecting. And when in doubt, contact a museum first.